Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. So uh, a few things. I think this is the July BAM horror box. Um, I'm only getting the horror box anymore, but I'm saying I think it's July because they owe me July and August. They had an issue where um, the July one was severely delayed because the person they had to do the autograph, they went to them for time to do the autograph, and they were like, oh no, I want more money now, and they weren't able to make that happen. So they had to take time to find another person to do an autograph because it, they couldn't negotiate anything with this new person. So, or the uh, in, initial, ugh, initial person, I'm sorry, I was at work today. Um, so it got severely delayed for that reason, so over a month. Uh, in addition to that, the August box is a little bit delayed, but it did ship already, so I should be having two unboxings relatively close to each other. So um, there's that disclaimer. So when I'm opening this, I believe this is the July one, and I think I say that because it doesn't look like it has a Funko Pop in it because I believe the August, let me fix that link. I believe the August, sorry, the August uh, is supposed to have a Funko Pop sign. So that leads me to believe this is July, but whatever the title of this is, is the correct one. So I will know it by then. The other thing is I'm messing with the audio. Some people let me know that some of my videos, uh, they have to turn the audio up really high. And the reason that that is, is because I was putting the gain down really far, because if you have the gain down far, then you don't get a whole lot of background noises. So I had to turn the gain up a little bit. So I'm gonna do this a little bit at a time. If you could let me know down in the comments, is the audio level good or do you have to really crank it um so if you could help me with that feedback i would appreciate it now since it's been a long time for this one i remember nothing about what any of the franchises for this box are supposed to be um totally clueless so a real mystery box at the moment um really hoping that the art print is actually like an art print this time around because if you remember as we've been going through these we've had issue with them just kind of like doing a computer graphics thing over an actual piece or a piece of like an actual picture. So that's been kind of a letdown and this might be kind of a letdown. Um, I don't know. Oh, this is actually, yeah, gotta be honest. This is actually kind of a cool idea. So I'm doing the autograph first. I didn't know what I was grabbing and that's what it is. Um, so not, this is a pretty solid uh, replacement autograph, I think. Um, so this is hand signed by Tuesday Night. Yes, that's a name who played Kristen in Nightmare on Elm Street 4. They've had a bunch of the Nightmare on Elm Street people in this, which I'm all for that. I love Nightmare on Elm Street. I like all of them. All of them. To varying degrees, but I like all of them. And they got her to sign sunglasses. As you can see, I'm sorry the lighting's not like the best. Look at this. That's it. That's, I mean, I like, I mean, and I could actually wear these, so I'm not going to. Well, I look, they look good on me, to be honest. I think they look good on me. Let me know in the comments. But yeah, obviously there's a vision issue with the autograph over there. But no, it's cool. I like when they do like signed props from time to time. So that's actually a cool outside of the box thing. And I was a little bit worried that since they didn't have the original person, it seemed like they might have to kind of like, scramble to get a new person to do an autograph that it might not be all that great but no that's totally cool i really like that i'm down with it solid autograph it really makes me wonder though who was the person who they didn't have i don't know oh okay now i remember this too so they said that because <coughs> excuse me i'm sorry i'm also getting over being sick uh because there was a delay, such a big delay on the box that they were going to give everyone a uh, film, a cartoon film cell, or a, a cartoon drawing cell. I just gotta figure out how to open this up because it's like really taped and there's not a good way to get into this. So, oh my God. Okay, I got it. So this should be like a cartoon animation cell. Animation cell. That's the word I was really looking for. <laughs> Animation, so. No, they have a bunch. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm actually down with this. So when I've gotten animation cells, I've not been all that lucky. They've been ones I'm just like, I don't really care about that. That's Slimer, man. So uh, if people didn't remember, there was a Ghostbusters cartoon. And I watched it when it was initially on. I really enjoyed it. So this is cool. Like just a little original hand-drawn rough draft of a Slimer. I like that. That's cool, man. 
that's the best one I've gotten of those. Because the other ones, like I said, it's, I think I got one that was like Goof Troop or something like that. And I was just like, eh. And another one, I can't even remember what it was. I, I don't even know if I remember, if I knew at the time what it was or even since. And I'm just like, I don't even know what this is from. Uh, okay, so the pin, okay. So reading the back, it is Hello Clarice. So we all know what that is, it's Silence of the Lambs. This is by Creative Terror Pins. Don't remember ever hearing their name before, so they are new designing for this. Oh, this is pretty cool. I like this. Obviously, Hannibal Lecter. It's got the Death's Head Moth on it. That's a cool design. And I, I'm assuming, yeah, I didn't feel anything like a like a one-up or anything. Yeah, so this is just the, the normal one. So it'll be interesting to see what the variants are. Hopefully... The rare one is Buffalo Bill doing the tuck, if you know what I mean. Not hopefully, but it would be funny if they did that, in my opinion. That's a good pin, though. I like that. Okay, next. Ooh, we have a comic book, and I'm down with this. I knew there's some people who were like, I don't like comics in these. I don't It's not my thing. I like trying different comics out, giving them a go. So I actually have a comic sitting over there right now. Uh, Gideon that my buddy got for me. He's like, you'd really dig this. Haven't got to it. Um, this is a, ooh, although, okay. Well, this is a Vampirella comic book by Dynamite, and it's a done-for BAM, so that's cool. I like when they get these kind of original covers done just for them. It's a number one Vampirella. The reason I was like, eh, about this is that they've done a Vampirella before. Like, I literally have another Vampirella comic book that I got from BAMBOX. So I kind of like it when they do different things, but the fact that they got an original um, cover for them for this makes it fine. Uh, and it's signed by Ken Hazer, Heiser. He's done some stuff for the box before. You can see his autograph up there. He's done some stuff for the box before. Um, he did that like three part art print series of like icons of horror, which is really cool. And I have on my wall over there. It's, it's really nice. I put them all together and it looks really cool. They're really nice. Um, so I will always remember Ken he Heiser or Hazer for that, however you say his name. He does a good job, in my opinion. Okay, here we go. Now, the art print titled Head Turner is done by Frank Dean. Mm, okay. Wait a minute. Is this like the third Exorcist print art print we've gotten, I think? So... You can see it's, I'm sorry, with the lighting, it's a little hard to see, but it's like a dark purple outline of uh, who I assume is the um, the doctor who shows up in the beginning. Obviously, this is supposed to be Regan, uh, Regan and um, it just says The Exorcist. I mean, so it's not an art print so much as it's, it's, it's like a, um, just like a poster. It's like a, it's like a poster reprint. To be honest, like that's fine with me. I like it, but don't. I don't know. I, I think maybe you shouldn't call it an art print because it's not so much an art print. Although I guess it is, like, it is kind of art to a degree, but it's more of, like, a poster recreation, in a sense. Because literally, you know, it has all the credits for the film on it. So, you know. Uh, I'm fine with this. Like, I do like having these mini, these types of mini posters. And I'll probably put this one up. I mean, it's cool. But um, this kind of leads me to another thing about the BAM box that I've been kind of like, hmm... Uh, they've been mining some of the same franchises over and over and over again. And I understand that part of that is you need people to want to sign up. Uh, but there are a lot of more awesome franchises out there that you guys can do things with. And that, and, you know, and it, and it's not autograph. Like, you can do whatever you want for the autograph. But, like, you know, the pins, the art prints, stuff like that, you can, there's a huge selection. Maybe you need to dig, like, real deep. But, you know, there's a big selection out there. I would just encourage them to branch out a little bit more. I like a lot of what they do, but branch out a little more. Okay. Okay. Seeing some things I don't like here. Um, so the fa you'll see what I'm talking about. So uh, first of all, the autograph, cool autograph. Like I said, I dig it. Um, so they just have like a little thing about that up there. Showing a picture of her signing. Very cool. Tuesday night. Good job. I like it. The variant on the art print, I hate this. All it is is a color differentiation. Uh, it's a color 
It's a color difference and it is very subtle. It is just purple versus green with the lettering, basically. Come on. That's not... Do... Like, you used to do something, like, different. Something really different. That's not. It's just, like, make this a different color. I don't dig it. And they did it with the pins, too. Check this out. Check that. I mean, they look... They look good. I don't think... Actually, the one, the one out of 250, I don't even... I think it looks kind of weird. This one right here. I think that looks really cool, actually. The, the color scheme on that's really cool. So, like, this and this, awesome. That's just kind of a weird color scheme. Um, but that's another thing. I hate it when you just change the colors. Make different pins, please. You used to. You've done that a lot in the past. But when you do this, and you do that, and you do that, it's kind of lazy. Got to be honest. It's lazy. Um, then they had the comic book. I'm down with that. I like the comic book. Like I said, you know, I just like write, reading new comics. And then they had a win a Clive Barker and Doug Bradley signed 8x10. That's a cool giveaway. Very cool. Let's see if I can get close enough. My light's really low, so like I have a hard time. I need to bend things to get there. Very cool. Which, by the way, I just met Clive Barker a few weekends ago, and he's a very nice individual. It was nice for me to be able to say thank you to him for writing The Hellbound Heart and a bunch of other books. He got me into reading. I didn't like to read a whole lot when I was younger, so in my adulthood I was like, I should probably read. Maybe I'll read some horror stuff. So I started by reading Clive Barker stuff, and it was good from there. I'm branching out past that, so Clive, thank you so much. And I was able to say that to him, so it was a really nice moment. But overall, this box, I mean, it's still, it's still a solid box. It's still fine. You know, when I when I rail against Bambox, you know, I don't do my own mystery box. So I don't know how hard it is. I know it is hard. They do put a good product together, but they but it's an issue where like they do a really good job so that when they have those kind of like off months, whether it's really off or like a little bit off or in this in this instance, it's more of like for me, my particular pet peeves, it's off because of like just the color differentiation with the art and the um, pin. You know, it's just my pet peeve. So, you know, but still, like, it's a decent box. Um, very interested to see what the August one has because the signed Funko Pop has me very interested. I kind of had a theory that it could be Sid Hag because he's very gettable as far as autographs go. He doesn't charge a whole lot, and I know there's a Funko Pop of Captain Spaulding. Um, I may, that might just be like a wishful thinking for me because I would love to have that. I think it'd be really cool. And at the moment, moment of silence, everyone, because Sid Haig is currently in the hospital. Um, so hopefully he gets better. So moment of silence. Wish you the best, Sid. Thank you, everyone, for checking out this uh, unboxing. And hopefully the next one's really good. Put some comments down there. Did you get this box? What are your thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? What do you like? What don't you like? What are you hoping for in the future? Uh, also, what, other, what franchises do you think they should branch out to, like I was talking about? Like, me personally, I don't know, get a little more obscure, um, I don't know, do like the 1970s Piranha or something. I was just thinking about that movie recently. Do some Argento stuff. Do like some Tenebre or some uh, Inferno or Opera or even Suspiria. Like, I think they did one thing for Suspiria, but I don't know. Anyway, my thoughts, give me your thoughts, and hit that subscribe. Thank you so much for uh, watching this, but hit that subscribe really pays me back and the other thing is if you want to get some money off your first band box uh whether it's horror or pop culture uh shoot me an email brutal battle podcast at gmail.com and brutal is spelled b-r-e-w-t-a-l brutal battle podcast at gmail.com then i can send you a link you can use that link and it'll give me a little bit of credit if i get a certain amount of people who sign up then i get a free box and that would be sweet so anyway thanks everyone for checking this out Till next time keep it brutal